Using a REST API to execute an Oracle Analytics data flow offers several business advantages that can significantly enhance data management, automation, and collaboration within an organization. In this video, I will be demonstrating how to use the public REST APIs for data flow and sequence execution via Postman. The first endpoint that I'll show is the data flow execution endpoint, which utilizes a POST method. The endpoint begins with the base URL to your Oracle Analytics environment and also includes the base64 encoded object ID of the data flow that you want to execute. You can locate this object ID via the inspect panel of your data flow. You need to include an authorization bearer token in the header of the request. I encourage you to visit our documentation to learn about how you can obtain an access token. As you can see, I hit send to execute the request. I received a 202 response indicating that the operation started. I'm switching over to my OAC console to show you that this run did in fact succeed. I'm navigating to the history tab of my data flow where you can see the details of the run that was just executed. You can see that it completed successfully with no errors. At this point, I'm closing out of the inspect panel and I'm navigating to the jobs page to show that you can also monitor data flow runs here. On this page, you can see that data flow that I ran a few moments ago via the API. I'm switching back to Postman to show you how to execute a parameterized data flow, which is a data flow where you can specify inputs and outputs at runtime. You would use the same endpoint, but also pass a JSON object in the request body containing the fields shown on the screen. So you need to indicate what the parameter type is, the name of the parameter, and the data set name. I'm sending the request and I received a 202 indicating that the operation was started. Now I'll show you how you can use a different endpoint to execute sequences. Notice the endpoint. It consists of the base URL to your OAC environment. This time I've hard coded it in, which is why it looks slightly different than the data flow endpoints. After this base URL, you need to include the path that you see on the screen and you have to include the base64 encoded sequence object ID that you want to execute. Again, you must also include an authorization access token in the request header. I'm storing my access token in an environment variable in Postman, which is why you see it referenced this way in the authorization tab. On the console, I hit send to send over the request and I received a 202 accepted message indicating that the operation has been started. 